let that truck run about 10 to 15 minutes. You know, so that liquid you know, get the movement in the truck. One thing about big box trucks, they hate the cold weather. You gotta warm it up, then you get on the start of the day. So just leave you some extra time in the morning. All right, y'all, we are at Global Industrial in DeSoto, Texas. This is a no touch freight route. So they are loading us up. Hudson is back there just, I guess, looking to see how many pallets they put on. Cause we actually ran into an issue. Um, the pallets are a lot longer than we expected. So I don't think they're gonna be able to load the entire load the truck so we're gonna see how many pallets they um, put on the truck and go from there but every day it's not gonna be smooth <laughs> you will learn that in the box truck game every day it's not gonna be smooth so we've been here waiting for probably I say a, over an hour trying to figure out what they're gonna do if they're gonna pay us a truck order not use so they end up saying they just gonna cut the order in half and we're gonna take half not sure if they're gonna want us to pick up again to deliver the rest of the pallets and we'll be asking for the same amount so it'll be double the pay but we'll see I mean, we'll keep y'all updated all right So, we had a really, really bad problem today. We ran into a big issue. Um, we were delivering to a water park. Um, the water park did not have a forklift. They only had a pallet jack like us. And as you can see. Do not let them load your truck like this. Because usually, you see how this is separated? Your pallet jack won't fit in there. Because the pallet jack is too thick. And it also is too wide. So you won't be able to put your pallet jack in there. So before you go to a location, you need to give them a call and see if they have a forklift or if they have a pallet jack with a, you know, with a motor or something on it. So it's easier to take off. But don't let them load your truck like this. The first thing is to secure your load. And we didn't secure it because they had a pallet right here in front, which we took off. You know, we were able to take that one off, but these, eight in the back we weren't able to take them off yeah and they loaded this for us so we didn't think about it um so we just drove to the drop-off location and when we got to the drop-off location we had a surprise for us so these pallets are turned the wrong way uh, let me see if i can get a better so you can see if you can get in there like that you can see they're turned the wrong way now if they were turned the other way the opposite way we will be able to slide our pallet jack in there and pull it out. okay so y'all this is not what we expected um we didn't plan on our day going this way but you never know what you run into we want to be real with y'all it's not all gonna be uh, lovely every day it's not gonna be easy you gonna sometimes run into these issues and problems so we wanted to show y'all um what problems you might um come across now with that being said yeah it didn't go our day did not go as planned but returning this load they're gonna pay us double so we just basically drove 
350 to uh, North Richland Hills and then 350 back to the Soto. So that's $700. You can't beat that. You can't beat it. A lot of issues actually. We had an issue at the pickup, but they forced the pallets home. Um, and then we got to the drop off location. Couldn't the key, them off. The key for today's video is watch how they load your truck. I mean, if if you can't watch, because some, some facilities you can't go into, but I mean, before before they lock and seal it, kind of just check out the load security. You know, just, just check it out because if you we took a glance at that that load, the first pallet was correct, but all the pallets after that, the eight other pallets, they were facing sideways. So there's no way you can get your pallet jack in there. And for a box truck, you can't get a forklift for a box truck. So for for them to unload that, they have to have a rope and tie it to a forklift and drag them off. It shouldn't be forced like that. If, if you know, you can't get the pallets on the correct way, there's no reason you're doing it because all you have, all you're doing is making a second trip back. Yep. Making you create issues for yourself. Um, like I said, we didn't load this ourselves, um, but we should have, I guess, checked it because it was not sealed. So when we pulled the weight, from the dock, we should have checked it to make sure it was good before we made that trip. But I'm gonna say this, we're not gonna complain about today. Um, like I said, every day is different. We're not gonna complain about today. We still made pretty good today, really good. We only did one load, I guess you could say. I guess you could count it as two since we had to make the return trip. But we still, they paid us double. So we got paid 350 to go to North Richland Hills and another 350 to bring it back to the Soto. So that's a total of 60 miles and $700 for today. We're done today. We're not well, going to run anything else. We had a crazy day. You never want to come back and have to redo another job. Yeah, that's true. Because you know, it's just, it's not going to be fun. Yeah, it's not going to be fun. But like I said, we got to get back to work. Um, we got to get back to work.